What's up guys, my name is Jay and in this quick video I want to teach you about CSS global variables. I know that a lot of people don't know about this and I think it's very interesting. So here I have a very basic HTML code, as you can see, and some CSS. Everything is you know normal, nothing special right now. Let's create our first global variable, all right? So I'm going to do this by using the pseudo class root. If you are not familiar with root, um, root is like everything you put inside here. Um, it will be applied to everything. OK, um, root is even more specific than the HTML tag. Um, I'm going to add a link in the description if you don't know much about root, but it's very simple to understand. So I'm going to add all my global variables inside this root pseudo class. OK, let's create it. Now, I'm, I want to create like my main color, right? The color that I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to repeat this color in a ton of uh, containers that I'm going to create in my page. So you're going to start by doing this like a double hyphen. And now you can um, choose whatever name you want. I don't know. I'm going to use uh, Gangsters Paradise. All right. That's the name of my color. Um, this is my main color. So I'm going to use this color um, in every single container that I'm going to uh, create on my page. Now, what color can be? I don't know. Let's say um, like a dark gray or something. All right. So this is my uh, main color, main color uh, and it's a global variable. Now, how can I use it? Let's go down here. Let's see my container. So my background, my background color. Now I want to include my global variable here. So I'm going to do var from variable and inside here, I'm going to write gangsters paradise. And look at this. Now my container have this dark uh, color. Um, of course, the text, maybe we can change it to maybe a white. So let's change it very quick here. All right, that's good. And you can see here that my var gangsters paradise is kind of getting override by this or you can do whatever you want here. It can be red. So it can be uh, light blue. All right, so you get the idea. So now I have another class of container two, which my second container, as you can see here, my HTML have right here. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna add my main color. I'm just gonna copy and paste it right here. That's it. I have. My dark color right here background. So now let's say that you have like freaking 20 different classes with different uh, some backgrounds and you want to change all of them to be your main color. And now you can change it. Oops, sorry. Just like that. That's the very basics of uh, global variables. Let's go to like a real world page that maybe you you're familiar with. Like, let's say this. We have some some articles and some stuff and we have a main color. My main color right now is black. And if you see in the CSS, I have my H1, which is this title. It have my main my main color. My button, it have my main color. And all the links, as you can see, we have a link here and here are my main color. Now, let's say that you, you are thinking, or maybe your client is telling you change the main color to red. Or maybe you're working for a company, your stakeholders are, are, you know, they want to change the main color to red. So you go to your main color, 
global variable and change it to red. And now my title is red, my links are red, and my button is red in every single article. So this is how you really use these global variables, which I think is very, very helpful and it's interesting. A lot of people don't use it. And I, I know that people using SAS and less, they can do this very easily. But if you don't use SAS or less, this is, this is a good option to create those global variables. I think it's very cool. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.